Hello everyone, it's Matt from Akuma Mods. Um, yes, I am aware that we're using a different camera angle, so I've been setting up um, OBS to try and do some tutorial videos. So we're going to try it with our first one today, so hopefully it doesn't become a total disaster, but uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, so today what we're going to be showing you guys how to do is replace FET film on your resin printer. Now, this is for the Kumitsu KL9, which is by SaneSmart. Um, as you can see, this FET film has had some better days. Um, I've been printing with it pretty consistently, and I had a pretty bad failure right from the get-go, so I just kept on printing with it, and it just kept on going and going and going. It's not terrible, but it's enough to where I can see it through my prints. So uh, it definitely needs to be changed. So we ended up going out and getting some FET film from Amazon uh, directly from Sane Smart's um, uh, shop on, on Amazon. Uh, so this fits the exact size, and it is a little bit oversized, so that's, that's good. Um, and yeah, we're, we're pretty much going to show you guys how to replace this. Uh, it's very simple, straightforward. You're only going to need two types of tools, and... Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to switch you guys over to the overhead view and we'll get going on this. All right. So as you guys can see, we have our FET film and only two things that we need for tool wise. You need a, um, let's see, I believe this is a 2.5. Yeah. So you'll need a 2.5 hex, uh, millimeter hex, uh, screw, bolt remover, whatever whatever you want to call it, Allen key. Um, there's several different names for it. So that's to remove the um, all the Allen screws that are holding the FEP down. And then you will need some sort of a knife or an X-Acto blade. In this case, I have a small X-Acto blade. Um, it's the same type of thing. So um, that's all we really need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the FEP film aside and we're gonna start removing all the screws. There is no specific way that you need to remove these screws. Um, I've done them in a specific way, um, at least for putting them back together. Uh, but again, you guys don't need to really follow that, um, that logic. Uh, as long as you're following these steps pretty closely, you should be pretty good. And again, if you guys want to... Uh, check this out uh, without seeing me remove every single one of these you know we can always do a fast forward and see if that'll that'll work but we'll play around with uh, with the video settings if need be now your FET film or I'm sorry, your, your VAT might require less or more um, screw holes, depending on which model you have. It does vary from model to model. And uh, obviously your uh, Allen, Allen key size might vary. Um, I know some of these that I got um, from like the unknown brands um, use screwdrivers, uh, Phillips head screws on it, not screwdrivers, but screws. <clears throat> so you can always uh, always make sure you have the right tools. So <clears throat> obviously we're not gonna really worry about the FET film and how it's coming off. It's, it's the one that we're gonna be putting on that we need to worry about. And obviously, if this, uh, if you happen to come across any ones that are stripped or that you've stripped out um, when you are removing these, that uh, this is a good time to replace those. 
or replace all of them uh, if you want better ones because sometimes these are over tightened in the factory and there's nothing really you can do about it so So we go ahead and we take the ring off and you can clean this up if there's some resin on it. Um, these little parts that are on here that you see that are different colors, um, that's just some extra residue from the uh, from when I cleaned it. And this one has a gasket, not all of them do, but this one does. And then all you have to do is lift that and get it up and out of here. That is. That's garbage. It's no bueno. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And again, you can clean this up if you want to. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down all around. But it should be fairly clean for the most part. I had this sitting in a nice bath of denatured alcohol. So, Okay, so now, <clears throat> when you guys get your FET film, you will notice that there's little tiny tabs on it, okay? So what you're going to want to do is release one side of that. So there's film on each side, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to line this up like so. All right. take this and we're just going to jab it right through. So I'm going to go in the upper left corner here. Again, you guys don't have to follow in my footsteps. Okay, so now it's turned in. We're not going to turn it all the way down. So this is going to be kind of loose. And that's what you're going to do with all of them. So since we did this corner, I'm going to go and do it on this corner. And we're basically going to go back and forth like that. Okay. Now, before we do that, we're going to pull off the other piece of film. You can do this before if it makes it a little bit easier for you. I do this just so I know I have it on here and I'm not mucking up the uh, the center of this too, too much. this a little too much. Alright. We're going to go ahead and take that out. Alright. So now that we put our center hole in there, we're going to get it in there. Put it down. So yeah, disregard what I said. <laughs> Not a professional here, people. So again, we're, we're going to be doing this in kind of a cross pattern as much as we can. So when you put these in, just tighten them down a little bit. Make sure they're loose. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down, down, then we're going to go up. We're going to hit our four corners. Okay. Just a little bit. Right? And now 
now what we're going to do is we're going to start at this end. Again, we're not tightening down any of these. We're just screwing them in so we can get it through the FET film. Okay, so we're pretty good there. We're gonna go ahead and tighten down our corners again. Don't tighten them too much. We're just gonna tighten them until we're close, but not fully. That's what we're gonna listen for is that that drum sound okay once we're good we can go ahead and start tightening all these down now if you want to get more technical you can um, you can get a sound meter if you'd like and measure the sound of what a FEP is supposed to be at. Um, I don't know offhand what it's supposed to be. So that's something you'll have to look at yourself. Um, but you guys can probably hear my voice echoing off of it. That lets you know that you've got a good FEP adhesion. Now, if you guys notice, I have been skipping the four main screws. 
You don't have to do that, but I'm going to come around one more time and tighten everything up because I want to make sure that everything's good now. yourself a tambourine. Okay. All right, so now this is kind of dull, but um, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around the edge and dig that blade in as hard as you can to get all of this film to release. Okay, there you have it. Brand new FEP, all good. This is the sound of a new FEP. <laughs> well, at least on the bigger ones. The smaller ones, obviously, they'll make a different tune, but you guys get the idea. So, I mean, that's at least a good thing. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, uh, little, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, little sayings about, you know, how I did the, the FEP and the film and everything, uh, yeah, you could go ahead and, and chew me out for that. That was totally me trying to be cool. And I failed miserably about uh, keeping the other side of the, the protective cover on there. So, um so yeah, um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're so close. As of making this video right now, we are at 992 subscribers. We're so close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. That would be absolutely bomb if people would subscribe over 1,000. I promise I will stop bothering you guys if we get over a thousand. So, with that being said, um, until next time, guys, happy printing.